Hi and welcome to Cooking with Candyware. Today I'll be showing you how to make little burgers. So here are all the tools and I'll leave them in the description box below. So the first step is to mix translucent and Sahara and once you've mixed that all up you'll roll that out to a thin sheet. Remember to always use more translucent. So now I'm just using a cookie cutter and um, then I'm doing this twice because I'm going to make two pairs. But anyways, I'm using a little uh, foil bit to add on some texture. And now I'm going to add on some soft pastels of the cream and the brown to make it look like the buns have been baked. So I'm just going to lift these up and move them to the side and clean my work surface. So the next step is to make the eight burger. So I'm mixing brown and, or I should say chocolate, and some translucent. And then uh, roll that out into the same thickness, if not a little bit more, depending on what you would like of the burger. And now I'm using a needle tool to just fray the burger patty. So now I'm gonna add on some dark uh, pastel and some brown. So now I'm going to add on the uh, head pins to the burger and then add that to the bun. So now I'm just going to make a little bit more uh, details on the bottom. Now it's time for the cheese. So whatever color you'd like for the cheese, I'm using more of a light color and so just cut that into a square. And now I'm just using a detail tool to just put it off the edge using some um, a cane of tomato to add on uh, some fun things on the inside. You can add in whatever you'd like on the inside of this. So now it's time for the uh, lettuce. So I just use the detailing tool again to just um, make some more indents on it and just added that. And then you add on the top bun and then it's time to bake. So once you're done baking, uh, use some gloss, I'm using triple thick, all over the bun, or the burger in general I should say. And let that dry. So once that's dry, it's time to make this into a findings. I'm going to make these into earrings, so I'm just going to uh, loop the finding around and then cut that off once you get it to the size you want and you're done. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.